This is a $35 kids camera and I shot my entire summer on it. I wanted a fun and easy way to capture what my friends and I were doing this summer, so I started searching for a digital point and shoot. I wanted it to look a little different from the normal point and shoots that you'd normally get, so I started looking for a kids camera. And after lots of searching, I finally landed on this one, which was 35 bucks and came with a 32 gigabyte SD card, which is honestly overkill with the kind of quality that this camera produces. Now you may be asking me, why am I shooting on a really bad point and shoot digital camera while I have a AS7 III, which takes phenomenal photos. And there's one big reason, the relationship between your subject and your camera. I found that if I point my AS7 III to someone, they get shy and really self-conscious and start trying to fix themselves and make themselves look as good as possible. And once I take the photo, they insist on seeing it because they want to make sure they didn't look funny or look weird. And most of the times they're going to find something about the photo that they don't like. But with the kids camera, it's a lot less threatening than the a7 III being so small, even smaller than my phone. That whenever I point it towards someone, they don't even think twice about it. They just pose and I just snap a photo. Which is really funny because my professional camera makes everyone look like professional models and movie stars. While with the kids camera, it makes it look like it was shot on a potato. I also realized for myself, I was living much more in the moment when I was shooting on my kids camera. I wasn't worrying about lighting, angles, lenses, filters, settings on my camera. I was just in the moment and I lift up my kids camera, take a photo and move on. Side note, the camera also takes video so you can have a camcorder somewhere as well. Which reminds me of the other features of the camera. You can play music to set the mood, or you can play a game if you get really bored. The last time I checked, your DSLR camera can't take photos, video, play music, and play games. So really, this camera is extremely simple. So many times, as creatives, we can get so caught up in the perfect composition, lighting, excuses about our gear not being good, the weather not being great. This breaks down those barriers for us creatives and just allows us to capture what we're living. So I ran with this new way of thinking and I have captured some of my favorite photos so far. So all you really need on your next adventure is a $35 kids camera, point and shoot, and you'll have a memory that lasts a lifetime.